Hi guys, it's Mark, me Marcus. Um, I'm, today I'm taking you through my morning skincare routine. Um, first of all, I like to <clears throat> use, actually before I describe the routine, um, I'll tell you my skin type and my age. Um, dry combination and I'm 21, nearly 22 years old. I'm 22 in July. Um, I like to use this Hydrate and Cleansing Oil and uh, this is good for, for a, a gentle cleanse first thing in the morning. Uh, I like to switch between that and a cleansing cream because uh, I don't want to use anything that's too harsh on my skin. Next I'll use these toners here. Use Nivea if I break out and simple if I feel like my skin's drying out because sometimes my skin can be oily and sometimes it can be as dry as sticks. During the winter it can be really dry in my cheek areas um, and I like to get rid of that. So um, also for the cleansing part <clears throat> you can use a cleansing water and this will help get rid of any traces of mascara or anything from the night before or the day before because sometimes if you haven't woken up before and you've had eyeliner or mascara underneath your eyes from the day before it's irritating isn't it um and then I'll use these moisturizing creams I use SPF 30 um from Simple it's kind of skin protecting moisture cream um do you like my nails I did them last night. It's the same on the other hand as well. Um, or French manicured. Um, once I let that drink in, I then use my Simple Revitalizing Roll On Eye Gel. And just gentle circular motions that I use. And I make sure there's plenty of gel on there and then I pat it on just to make sure extra blood flow to the eyes since I have dark circles um, and I put it on the top of my eye as well a little bit then you have soothing eye balm and I do this with my finger every time ring fingers always ring fingers because they, they apply the gentlest the most gentle sorry the most gentle pressure gentlest is that even a word I don't think it is um, this reduces puffiness and winds down the eye area, that's what it says. Anyway, here it is. Um, <clears throat> so, I like to use the eye creams whilst I'm letting the uh, moisture cream drink in. Then I'll use the simple day cream, the vital, vital vitamin cream. And it's... I just slather this on. There we used to be a time when I used to use too much moisturiser. You might see it on my Instagram as well. Through really early posts. My skin was really oily. My pores were very large. And maybe it wasn't the most flattering of light either. I don't know. But anyway. <clears throat> so just give me a sec guys. And I'll um take you through the routine. Okay so. So um, first of all I use this hydrating cleansing oil, get all on the hand, plenty on because you need to cover the whole face and neck, it might drip a little but it's still not enough, it's weird, right, okay, so put them in and then go from here, on down the neck, do like a superficial Cleanse an area. I do this at college, by the way. It's a good way of getting rid of your makeup. Using a combination of a superficial and deep cleanse. Let's cover the whole face and let your face just have that on for a few minutes. That's what I do, anyway. It's hydrating as well, so you don't have to worry about drying your skin out. 
and it doesn't contain perfumes. It actually smells a bit like water's crisps. The ready salted ones. Hair in my mouth. <laughs> Rub it all in. The nose area. Then I take some of these cotton plates, dampened, and I just get rid of all of it and I'll need to check the mirror for this one because I even go out in the mirror in the bathroom and check that out as well. Just make sure you get rid of all of it. Make sure you can't see any what looks like foamy residue on your face. And get rid of it on the neck as well. I know I'm going to get some cotton plate on me facial hair, whatever's left of it anyway. Because that's what happens when you're a, when you're a man or a boy, it, it, that's what happens. <laughs> Can't do anything about it unless you buy one of those fancy washcloths, which I don't have. And then I get a t-shirt, a clean t-shirt that I don't use, and I just pat my face dry. Make sure you can't feel anything that's wet. So you don't want to lose moisture through water. Stephanie Nicole, I'm taking a leaf from your book. Um, then, look at me name dropping. And then, refreshing toner. On the hand, rub that in. It's squelchy. And put it on here. So at the moment my skin is getting oily because of the that heat wave we've been having, even though it's February. Global warming at its best. <laughs> Some may say, anyway. Can't speak for everybody, but that's what some people will be thinking. And then I get the same t-shirt and I like to dab it like this. Just gently over the face. I look a bit weird there for a second. The neck as well. Oh yeah, and my skin type is also sensitive, so I have to stay away from perfumes um, quite a bit. Okay, now, some of this. Take some on the finger, like this much, and put it on a cheek. I'm, I'm probably using far too much, and some of you may mention that as well. But, I like to have plenty of moisture on my skin. Because I like to have a nice, jibby, glowy look. This does leave a light of white cast, by the way can be a bit uh, whitening, especially if you have a tan. Anybody who has a tan, but I don't, so I'm lucky that way. And always apply it to the neck, 
as well. That's what they say because prevention is better than the cure when it comes to skincare. I've read that in one of my beauty books. Beauty therapy books that I bought for college and it's really, really good. It's the Heinemann book. You can get in store sometimes. Here's a mess. Then, the kind to eyes roll on. You got to squeeze as you roll on. Make sure I'm getting gel on there. Wow, it's raining gel. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've got like this red glitter thing on my face. It just came out of nowhere. And it's weirding me out. Me. <laughs> oh. This is my putting on eye gel face. And it's on me eyelids as well. And then an eye balm. That much. And then I do it like this. Same again, on the eyes. Outer inner, outer inner tower. So we are it then, I can't go wrong. Maybe I will, I don't know. We'll see in the future. If I'm looking old and wrinkled up there, that's because I did it the wrong way. <laughs> then, and then the day cream. And slather this on, because that's what I do. Oh my god, that really is a lot. <laughs> right. like I'm wearing a mask. Put them on the nose as well. A bit on the eye. Can't help myself, I've got to have moisture. Some people may tell me, don't use day cream on the eyes I do because I like to have moisture everywhere that's <laughs> just how I like it so I prevent wrinkles as much as possible don't premature aging or anything like that I wear sunglasses if it's strong sunlight or even like one of those blinding kind of lights that you get Ooh, neck area feels dry so I'm gonna do that as well Surprisingly, even with this amount of moisturiser on my face, it's still dry down there. On my neck. <sighs> Probably going to see like a white cast, but that's what's going to happen. I'm better at doing a tutorial for skincare because I'm so invested in skincare. And skincare always comes before makeup for me. I'd rather have good skin than makeup any day. Or certainly as much as possible. I mean, no one's skin is perfect, not even the celebrities. Because we don't know everything about it, even though we've researched it, you know. 
There's so many things to learn. And cheek. I like I've had some on my cheekbones as well. Just to finish off. Because I like dewy look. Whether I'm wearing makeup or I'm not. Do you ever find yourself watching yourself back on a video and you think I don't look the same as when I thought is it what I thought I did when I was filming? I often think that when I'm watching my videos back, I'm like, really? This is how how you look when you talk. I mean, double chin and <laughs> dark circles. It's like, oh my god, and you use all this skincare. And I'm thinking, and for what? <laughs> That's what I sometimes think. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so that's the whole routine, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.